Hello Powerwiz community, in this video I'm excited to bring you a comprehensive walkthrough tutorial of our amazing date picker visual. Before we dive into this tutorial, I want to express my gratitude to all of you for being part of the Powerwiz community. Your feedback and support are invaluable and we are thrilled to continue enhancing your Power BI experience. If you have not yet subscribed to our Powerwiz channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay updated on all our latest visuals, features and insights. So without further delay, let's jump into this walkthrough and explore the incredible features of the date picker visual. So first of all, let me show you how to import this particular visual into your Power BI report. So from this particular drop down, you can scroll down and click on get more visuals and you will land up on your app source page. And on this page, you can type in date picker and click on this date picker from Truvis and then click on add. So once you click on add, the visual will get added into your Power BI report and you will see that shortly it says that your visual has been successfully imported and then you can see the visual appearing over here. You can also click on the drop down over here and look at the visual that has been added to your Power BI report. Now that we have added this visual, I'm going to click on this to add that particular visual to my report view. I'm going to click on the ellipsis and move this around and now I can go into my data tab over here and bring in the order date that we have in our table. Now that I have added the date to my visual over here, it's now time to set up this particular visual. Now based on your preferences, you can choose whether you want to choose the range or you want to have two different options here which lets you select or enter the start date and end date. For now, let's go ahead with range. And on the next screen, there are two different options here, the canvas and pop-up style. We're gonna look at that in a moment. For now, I'm gonna click on canvas and click on next. And then there are different options over here for you to choose from. You have your light theme, you have your dark theme, you have monet. You also have an option where you can import a JSON file. Let's say if you want to create a theme of your own or you have spent a lot of time in creating a theme based on your organization preferences, colors, the choice of the font, size, etc. You can simply go ahead and export that particular JSON file so that when you are setting up a date picker visual in a different Power BI report, you can simply import that which will help you save a lot of time. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead with light color over here and then just click on done. So there are quite a few options that you see here on this screen. So first of all, let's begin with the date range over here. So this is the toggle button. If I turn off the date range, you will now be able to choose individual dates on the calendar and then click on apply. You'll be able to see the sales here for those dates only. Now, if you want to go back and choose a range, you can turn on the toggle and now you will be able to choose the entire range over here and then click on apply. Data gets filtered based on your selection. And now let's say you're viewing historical data and then you want to move to today's date, you can simply click on this button over here to look at today's date. You also have the clear and apply button over here. Clear is basically anything that you have selected. It clears all of the selection from that particular visual. And now on the left hand side over here, you see there are some presets like today, yesterday, min day, this week, last week, this month. This will basically help you filter data with just a click of a button. Let's say you want to look at this week's sales data. You can simply click on this week and click on apply now you have your data filtered for this week likewise you also have last week this month there are also two more options down here which will basically help you go back the number of days up to today for example let's say i want to look at last 365 days data i can do that by just typing in 365 over here and click on apply there i have all of my last 365 days of data Likewise, there's also days starting today wherein you can go, let's say, n number of days ahead from today. For example, I can type in 10 over here and my data gets filtered for next 10 days starting from today. So the user interface is really clean, intuitive and purposeful. The controls have been placed very logically, making it easy for you to navigate and customize your date selections effortlessly. So these are the default options that are available to you when you set up the date picker visual, but wait until you see the plethora of options when you click on advanced settings. 
So in the advanced settings, there are quite a few tabs that you see over here. Let me start by explaining the first tab, which is the calendar. So under calendar, you have two different display modes. We saw this while setting up the visual as well. One is the canvas setting and the second is the pop up mode. So let's take a look at both of them. So if I go back to my report, I have added both of them over here. So when I clicked on date over here, this is the canvas view. And when I click on this one here, this is the pop up view where you get to choose the dates over here, click on okay and the calendar disappears so in this the calendar stays on in this it appears like a pop-up and then it disappears and then the next option here is to keep the canvas display all the time and hide date picker on mouse out so let me check this box over here and click on apply so when I click on the select date over here you see that the calendar visual is now available and when I move my cursor away from the visual the calendar gets hidden automatically the next option here is to choose the date picker type whether you want a range or start and end date. So let's take a look at the start end date over here. I'm going to click on apply and now you can see that I have my start date and end date. I can choose my start date over here for example 1st of December and click on apply. I can choose today's date and click on apply. I have my date filtered for this particular range. So let's go back into calendar here. I'm going to stay on range and then you have your month style whether it has to be a single month view or double month view. We saw this while we were setting up the visual as well. The next option here is to choose your first day of the week. Some of the organizations follow different dates. For example, some of the organizations might have Monday as their starting date. And then the next option here is the selection style. Right now it's set to ellipse. Let's change this to square and click on apply. And when I go back to the report and look, let's look at the range here. So the selection style that you see over here is now changed to square you also have the auto scale calendar over here this is checked in by default so where basically when you resize the visual over here the scale of the calendar gets adjusted automatically and the last option here within the calendar tab is the multiple date ranges now this one is really cool and to help you explain that I'm also gonna change the month style here to double and click on apply and when I go back to my report over here I basically have double month view over here let me go back to November and December I'm gonna choose the first to 10th November over here as my first selection and on the second selection I'm going to click on the plus button over here which will help me choose the next range and so this time I'm going to choose first to 10th of December and you see that both of them have been highlighted over here and you can not just add two ranges but multiple ranges you can simply come over here click on the plus button and choose your third range as well let's say you want to compare first to 10th of October as well you can do that you have option to choose multiple ranges and then simply click on apply your data gets filtered for multiple date ranges now let's take a look at the next tab which is formatting this particular visual emphasizes a lot on formatting you will be able to change your font family your text size the calendar background side panel background selected dates font color and whatnot so the next tab here is the date picker button. You get to choose the label that you want to show on that particular button. For example, select date is by default. You can change this to whatever you want. You can also choose the button width and button height, the background of the button, the border of the button, the font family, etc. You can also choose the date format over here. There are multiple options that are available to choose from. For example, let's say you want to display DDMMMYY. You can click on apply over here. And when I go back to my report, let me clear the date range that I have selected. Let's say, for example, I choose this and click on apply. You see that the format has changed to 01 December 2023. Likewise, if I go back over here and make that change to something else, let's say YYYY, MMDD, now you see that the formatting has changed here for the selected date. You also have the custom option over here. You can decide what you want to display. And you can also refer to the supported formats that are available on this particular documentation link. Like I said earlier, this visual focuses a lot on the formatting and customizations. You also get to choose your close icon. So the color of the icon, the size of the icon, the border of the icon, etc. So you can also turn on and turn off the close icon over here. Now let's go to the next tab which is the default selection. Now this is a very interesting one because we have received a lot of requests to be able to default 
your slicer selection based on your preferences for example let's say whenever you open the power bi report you should be able to see last week sales data or this week sales data or this year sales data so this particular feature does exactly that now you have various options here to choose from like max date max week today yesterday this week this quarter etc and this also has a custom field where you will be able to decide what you want the default selection to be for example i do not have last 15 days as my default selection from the various options that are available over here now you can choose that you can create a measure to decide the number of days that you want to display and in your default selection you can simply click on based on field now it says that there's no field added in the default selection so this is where you will have to add your measure into the default selection so to do that let me quickly create a measure and show you how it works so it basically works based on a boolean value zero and one let me create a measure called default selection is equals to I'm going to use a switch statement over here followed by a true comma I'm gonna say if my selected value and my order date from my order table is greater than or equals to today minus 15 then it needs to return one else it needs to return a zero I'm gonna close the bracket here and confirm if I bring in my default selection into the default selection section over here I now have the option to choose the field you can also have multiple selections over here let me choose default selection and click on apply and now you can see that I have defaulted my selection to filter last 15 days data so whenever you open the report this will filter the data for the last 15 days now let's move on to the next section which is date selector date selector is basically this section over here where you enter your start date and end date here also you have the options to change the text color the background color for example let's say you want to go with this light blue over here you can do that you can click on apply you see that the color has now changed so you can also change the date format if you want to display Play in MMDDYY or DDMMYY you can do that from this particular section the next section here is the preset section and this also is a very interesting one and in the presets you'll be able to turn on or turn off the presets for example if I turn off the presets and click on apply the presets that were visible over here no longer appear and if I go back and turn them on you see that they come back again on this particular section of the visual so you also have an option where you want to display those presets for example if you want them on right you can do that you can choose the text size the font family etc like I said you can change the text the selected text the hover text the background of the text etc and when you scroll down over here you'll be able to choose the presets that you want to display for example all of them like today yesterday this week have been checked in here let's say for example I don't want to show min date I don't want to show yesterday I don't want to show last week but I want to show year to date and click on apply now you see that my today this week this month and YTD is being displayed as a preset in the preset section now let's say for example you want to create a new preset like the one I created earlier where we are filtering last 15 days of data I can add that preset right here for example let me just duplicate this particular measure over here and give it a new name I'm gonna call this as last 15 days and now if I have to bring this particular preset in my presets area what I have to do is I'm gonna come back to my presets scroll down there's a custom preset section over here where when you click on new preset over here you can give it a name let's give it as last 15 days and now there's an option here to choose the preset or the measure that we created also to bring that preset over here all you have to do is just bring in the last 15 days preset into the presets section over here and the preset will be available here for you to choose last 15 days click on save preset click on apply and now you have your last 15 days preset available right here you can go from YTD to last 15 days with just a click of a button you can add in as many presets as you want in the preset section over here now let's move on to the next section which is selection controls now the selection controls is basically you have top and bottom basically the apply and clear button over here when I choose bottom and click on apply you see the apply and clear buttons move towards the bottom section of the visual and likewise you also get to choose the background the border text etc now the next section here is the day train slider so basically the day train slider is referring to the toggle button that we saw earlier you can turn on or turn off that particular toggle button so if I turn this off and click on apply you don't see that toggle button anymore 
so you can turn them on here from this particular section now let's go to the next section which is invalid dates basically the invalid dates are nothing but the missing dates in your data now you can choose how you want to show them on the visual by default it is just a strike through with the gray text over here for example i can change the text color here to maybe red color and if i go back to my uh, let's click on apply and go back to the report so let me click on today here and let me make this selection you see that i do not have data here for 11th and 12th december and that is how i can change the formatting of that particular missing date the next option here is the weekend and holidays you will be able to choose how you want to display the weekends and holidays for example you can turn them on or you can turn them off if you turn them off they just appear normal here just like at other days but if you want to turn them on and display them in a different color you can do that for example let's say you want to show them in an orange color you can do that click on apply and now you have your weekends marked in a different color along with the font color control you also have markers that you can add for example you can add a shape to your particular date for in the weekends you can choose let's say for example this particular icon over here click on apply you can also choose the color of that particular icon i want to go ahead with blue over here i also increase want to increase the size to about eight when i click on apply over here you see that you get that little icon available to you on those weekends likewise you also have the holiday calendar over here wherein you will have to create a measure to be able to identify whether that particular date is a holiday or not so just like the way i created a measure for the default selection this also works based on the boolean value you can define the dates where you have your holidays and then bring in that particular measure into your holiday section and then you'll be able to choose the color the font size the markers you can choose different symbols that are available here on that particular date and click on apply that those holidays will get highlighted on the calendar and then the last section over here which is themes you will be able to customize the visual over here between different options that are available you have your light theme you have your dark theme you can choose the colors that you of your choice and let's say that you want to change the font family in the entire visual instead of changing in multiple places like for example in the formatting section or in your date picker section you want to apply one single font to your entire visual what you can do is you can simply go to the custom tab over here and scroll down choose the font family of your choice for example let's say if you like calibri you can do that and you can also get to choose the primary color secondary color the border color hover over state etc and then when you click on apply you see that the color has now affected and the font also has changed in the entire visual so once you have made all the changes to your visual you can go ahead and click on this little download button over here where you get to see the json code you can copy this particular code save that as a json file make any changes if you would want to and then import that json file into your visual whenever you create a new power bi report this will help you in saving time if you have to reformat it based on your organization's preferences and there you have it a comprehensive walkthrough of the date picker visual by powerwiz i hope you found this tutorial helpful and insightful